Hello and welcome to the Battery Test Channel. Today we're going to look at a 1.5 amp hour battery and we're going to hook it up to the supercharger and see how it does. I believe that the supercharger puts in way too much current into these tiny 1.5 amp hour batteries and it also heats up considerably. And in that regard, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the Flare Pro, which is attached to another phone. And we're going to take some pictures and I'll also add these in. You'll notice that it also gives you a minimum and maximum temperature. So we'll take a look at what this looks like on the battery. Okay, well, let's get started with the time lapse and then we'll come back and do some analysis. Right off the bat, we're hitting about 188 watts and two minutes in, we're hitting three bars and then four bars at three minutes. So the voltage must be pretty high to be hitting four bars so early. Obviously the battery is not charged. And about seven minutes in, we're at blinking green, which is 80%. And that's just seven minutes for 80% charge. And then it's going to take another eight minutes for the battery to get to 100%. And then here's where it's tapering off and then doing a lot of the charging at lower wattages. And then at 17 minutes and 18 seconds, it's finally done charging. Here's a picture of the batteries uh, right about the two minute mark. It's really neat how you can see uh, the individual cells. I thought that was cool. So currently we're still at 20 something degrees. Here's another look about uh, eight minutes in, significantly warmer, 26, 27 degrees Celsius. And then it's showing as the hotspot. And here it is after the charging is complete. We're at 36, 37 degrees here and the battery is pretty warm. So we looked at the supercharger on the 1.5 amp hour battery, which is a 27 watt hour battery. At the 80% 80, 80 charge mark, which is marked by the green light blinking, we had used up 25 watt hours at the eight minute mark. So that's an average of 188 watts. And keep in mind that this is 188 watts from the wall. What went to the battery was probably a little bit lower, probably about 85, 90%. It was 90%, uh, it is 90% from my experience, but even that seems relatively high, uh, but anyway. At the 100% mark we used up, which was at 17 minutes, we used up 45 watt hours, which tells us that an additional 18 watt hours went up as heat to charge a 27 watt hour battery. So a pretty inefficient operation for the most part. And in, on average, it used up about 160 watts to charge up this battery. And that is, that is pretty significant. Keep, keep in mind that this thing has five 18650 cells and it's using up on average 160 watts or for the 80% mark on an average of 188 watts. So let's take a look at what that means in terms of a, a C rating and a per cell. So we have 188 watts absorbed over eight minutes. Uh, watts per cell is 188 over 5, which is about 37, 38. Now amps per cell, which is uh, 37.6 watts divided by the volts. I'm going to use 3.7 volts because that is the nominal voltage of the cell. And we're seeing about 10.2 amps. And so a 1C rating for this, for this 1.5 amp hour cell would be about 1.5 amps. That would be considered a 1C rating and a 10.2 amp charge for this 1.5 amp hour cell would be 10.2 divided by 6.8 and that's 6.8 C. And this should be amps, wrong pen, amps, amps, cancel out. Let's knock out the 0.8 and we'll call it a 6 C actually going to the cell. A 6 C charge is pretty high. So ideally, you should be, again, charging this at 1C, which would be 1.5 amps, and we are, we are booking it at 10.2. My opinion is that for the 1.5 and 2.0 batteries, do not use the supercharger. I would prefer to use the standard or maybe the rapid charger. Um, if you'd like to see a similar analysis on the 1.5 and 2.0 cells with the rapid charger, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, if there's any, if you have any other questions or any other type of analysis, I'm happy to jump into it. Well, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If it's too much or too little, let me know. And if you have any comments, uh, please put them in the comment box below. I would sincerely appreciate a like and a subscribe.
I'm, this is a brand new channel, I'm trying to grow it. Um, trying to get into more abstract details of charging, discharging, trying to figure out what the manufacturers are doing. We're going to get into plugging these batteries and doing runtime analysis on different tools. I'm thinking about using a, uh, a, a wireless heat gun or cordless heat gun for Milwaukee for the, uh, the high load test and maybe a light for the low discharge test. If you have any recommendations there, let me know. Thanks again. See you on the next one.